Here's where I'm staying. Good friend of mine has been so gracious enough to give me his little apartment above uh, his studio. Got a fridge, microwave, stove, the whole nine yards, bathroom, shower. This is uptown, baby. I'm gonna be sleeping in here. I even got my own personal TV. Look at this. This is the bomb. Thought I'd give y'all a look. Let the festivities begin. Hey everybody, Drinking Ale here. Welcome back to the channel. It's uh, Saturday, December the 30th. I'm in Lincoln County, Mississippi. So, we'll try my first evening hunt out. I'm in a uh, hardwood mix type area with a uh, hollow running through it and a flat up behind me. I'll pan around just a minute to show you guys. But uh, anyway, first time in the woods, so we're going to see what happens. Y'all wish me luck. Hey everyone, Trent Canale here. Welcome back to the channel. It's uh, Sunday afternoon, December 31st. And it's the last day in 2023, New Year's Eve. So uh, I'm over here on a, a property in Vicksburg, Mississippi. My friend Ellis owns this property and I'm hunting with a friend of his, Roger, and his wife, Teresa. So I'm uh, thankful for the opportunity and uh, excited to get on with the hunt. So uh, we're gonna see what happens. I'm overlooking this food plot and uh, like any other place, I'm sure right about dark, it ought to get serious. So hopefully I can see a real big shooter buck, but time will tell. Y'all wish me luck. Hey everyone, I'm just going to show you guys what a couple of nice racks have come in uh, Ellis Solomon taxidermy. Check this one out right here. I scored a couple of them just for kicks and giggles. This is like a 143 inch 8 solid. It's a Euro guys getting done. Let me show you another one. Check this eight out right here. That's solid, isn't it? About a 142, 143 inch eight here too. Tinely makes everything, even though this is just a beautiful, though, slick, heavy eight pointer. Check this gnarly looking buck out. Mainframe nine, just unbelievable. These Mississippi Delta deer are just incredible. I'm gonna show y'all a couple more, two of my favorites. Look at this mainframe 10 right here. I scored this, 152. Giant, isn't it? They mount them like this sometimes, just covering the skull cap instead of doing a full mount. Here's another 10 right here. This is a 156. Look at those G3s right here. This is a four and a half year old deer. That other one was a five and a half. Just absolute hammers. Hey everyone, Trick and Al here. I'm, uh, I'm in Rankin County, Mississippi. It's New Year's Day, January 1st, 2024. I'm on a friend of mine's property. Uh, we're gonna give it a shot this evening, see what happens. I'm overlooking the food plot and uh, where they cross this road bed. So it ought to be pretty good. This is my third sit in Mississippi and they've all been evening hunts. So, so far I haven't seen a deer on the stand, but hopefully this will change it. Y'all follow along and uh, after I 
get through doing this interview, I'll pan around and show you what it looks like. And then hopefully we can get some action. I hope so. I'm going to show y'all a buck I killed yesterday evening. I was going to let him walk, but uh, give him one more year, but I said, oh, what the heck. Probably 300 inches plus of horn. It's an average size buck where I hunt at. But uh, anyway, pretty good buck. Pretty good buck for the season. <laughs> now, all kidding aside, look at this thing. You want to talk about a freak? I mean, a freak. There's no telling what this thing would score, honestly. Three or 400 inches. Uh, people from Texas and the high fences pay $20,000 for these things. Anyway, the rack alone probably weighs 20 pounds at least, if not more. Just unbelievable. I'm going this evening uh, to Yazoo County, so uh, I hope I can see a big shooter buck and, uh, you know, get him. So, y'all stay tuned to the video. And this afternoon, I'm going to be hunting on some prime property. So, uh, we're going to see what happens. We'll see y'all then. back in the woods. It's a uh, Tuesday afternoon, January 2nd, 2024. I'm on the uh, Yazoo County property. Finally made it over here. I'm stoked to be here. Uh, I'm getting to hunt. Uh, it's, I think it's like 360, 370 acres. Me and uh, a guy named Logan, which is a friend of Ella's who owns the property. Anyway, I, I have the opportunity to be over here, so I'm, I'm pumped. Uh, but uh, it's two o'clock. It's hardly no wind. Uh, 
and uh, it's kind of mild, but I got enough clothes. I'm in this octagon shooting house. I'll show you around in just a minute, but it's uh, it's got windows everywhere and uh, a door on the back side behind me. But I'm overlooking a food plot out front. You can shoot about 200 yards, it looks like. And then I got one to the right that you can shoot probably about, I don't know, 80, 90 yards maybe. But uh, there's big boys around here, so nothing but mature deer uh, is all we're after. So hopefully I can get a lot of content, video footage, and hopefully I can shoot a giant. So time will tell. So good luck to me. Show you guys around inside this thing. And then the door right here. Here's the uh, food plot to my right. It's a, uh, looks like about a 90 yard shot. And then if you go out front here, I won't be making this kind of racket obviously when I'm trying to slide around and show you guys. Food plot way out here. Just before then, when you saw me set off that buck bomb, it's right there on that tree right over there. So, we're gonna see what happens. And then you can see out this one, you can see out all the windows. Anyway. Hey everybody, uh, I just wrapped up the hunt. It looked phenomenal out here. Deer, like deer are gonna show up everywhere. I just never saw nothing, so it's black dark. So I don't know if this is my last chance or not. Uh, depends on if I can go one more time with Logan. Uh, he may go Thursday, but not even sure. But anyway, it might be my last hunt. So I've done all I can do so far. So anyway, if you see any footage after this, then it means I'm hunting again. If not, then I'll probably do a closing segment and uh, close out the video. So it was fun though. I was on a great stand and uh. Just uh, looked like a giant was going to walk out any minute. Just, I guess it wasn't meant to be, so. But I've had fun. Hey everyone, it's uh, Tuesday evening, it's January the 2nd, I was just going to do a little closing segment and wrap this video up, uh, had a real good trip, I didn't get to harvest a, a buck, but it didn't matter, I had a great time, met a, a lot of new people, I got here uh, this past Friday, so it's been five days, but anyway, I wound up hunting in four different counties on some evening hunts, and so... Uh, Big thanks to a guy named Roger who took me to uh, Vicksburg and I got to hunt with him. I really appreciate that. And my new friend Matt got to hunt in Rankin County with him. Uh, and also my new friend Logan. I got to hunt in uh, Yazoo City. I meant to say uh, Yazoo County with Logan, not Yazoo City. Yazoo City is where I hunted in Vicksburg with my friend Roger. So sorry about that. I'm still, still trying to learn everything. So anyway. Y'all get the point, though. Saw a few deer here and there, some on the side of the road and, you know, some on the stand. But, you know, it's just that time of year where I just couldn't really time it right and get on them. But anyway, I had a fun trip. Like I said, met some new people, and I'm thankful for that. Thankful, thankful for all the opportunities everybody gave me. My buddy Ellis, who makes it all happen, uh, he owns these properties, and he's the tax nervous. He's my friend, and so uh, he, he went to... Uh, Georgia with me. So anyway, thanks again to everybody. I'll keep in touch and I hope y'all enjoyed this video even though I didn't, you know, kill a deer. It ain't all about killing a deer every time. So I'm gonna get up in the morning and uh, head back towards Georgia. And so, uh, and then it'll be life as we know it, back to normal, back to the grind. So uh, I might come to our hunting property uh, one more time for the season out to uh, you know, close up deer camp and all that. We'll just have to see. I'm not sure what'll, what'll happen with that, you know. But anyway, it's been a good season. Ain't hunted as much as I like to have, but nonetheless, you don't ever get to do everything you want to do, right? So uh, anyway, thanks for watching. I hope everybody has a happy new year. 
And I hope uh, you just stay safe. Uh, God bless each and everybody out there. And this is Trent Gunnell saying so long, everybody, from the Peach State of Georgia.